What's going on? Builder Bear here with Spout. What's up, Spout? What's up? And Silp Design. What's going on? Hey, hello. Thank you for having me. Oh yeah, thanks for being here. So this is kind of exciting. We are doing our, um, we've been doing the inspiration series a little bit, but this one is special because it's the first one on the on WalkTube. WalkTube is kind of being rejuvenated, dude. Like World of Corrales is going crazy places, and we're here to bring it to you. And hopefully, you guys jump on board and see where this takes us. Um, so for the first like WalkTube inspiration series build, we are here at the World of Corrales House of Music by none other than Silp. So, um, Silp, why don't you kind of, why don't you kind of tell us just a quick little, little bit about this build while I go down these signs here? Yeah, sure. So, um, as you previously mentioned, it's the house of music and well, it's all about music. Um, it's a very simple volume, um, but it has a very expressive facade. So, um, the idea was to have a basic cube actually and put all nice functions inside there and have like a cube of music a building uh, full with music so inside there's concert halls a musical theater administration a restaurant and a music university that is crazy you said uh, earlier um when we were talking to you there's 300 or about 350 rooms in this build yeah yeah i i stopped counting at 350 so it's about 350 rooms yeah. you stopped counting at 350 yeah. that's madness yeah. this is we were talking about scale of builds last time when we did the um the hotel and this like this pushes that envelope a little bit because again this is just especially for the level of detail you've put in all of these um all of these rooms mm -hmm. yeah probably I, re I really like the name the house of music since it's not really a house it's more like a I don't know what you would call a skyscraper of music. Yeah, dude, I don't even like it. I'll get like cube. It's just a all encompassing like it's like a Rubik's cube of like music, right? Because it's just like yeah, exactly. it's all mixed in. But then like house just makes me like want to go in and like be like in the house of music. So let's like let's actually go inside. Let's look at the sign house of music. Hug the sign because that's what inspiration series people do. And uh, let's go inside. Um. You said first there's this restaurant over here on the right. Why don't you take us through this? Yeah, so if you're taking uh, the right, you're walking straight into a restaurant which has a separate entrance as well, but is also an entrance to the um, has its music. So it's open for either visitors of concerts and for people coming from, from the outside. Um, so the entire restaurant is based around those tables and a large bar feature. Um, which um, blends all around the kitchen and warp around the kitchen and you have like a nice view into the kitchen from some seats with um, setback windows so you can actually see what's happening inside there so that's, that's quite a cool uh, feature as well that is actually really cool I do like that it uh, keeps them honest right it keeps the cooks honest but it is it's like it's very um, yeah. I don't know and inviting like it's almost like you're part of what's happening here they're not just like in the back making your food and bringing it out here it's like a personal experience that you're having with it as well yeah exactly i like how this restaurant could kind of bring people in that might not even be going to see anything but just to get some food and then might hear about a little concert going on and yeah that's, check it out. that's the idea about it yeah Oh, that is actually really cool. I didn't even think about that. It, it could it, like it brings people, it draws them off the street, right? The casual, yeah. the casual yeah. person, I guess. Um, so I I really like how again this is kind of um following the theme of this this house of music has like all these different functions and it it not only feeds you you know musically it it, it feeds your stomach quite literally as well. And I think that's actually really cool. Um, mm -hmm. So why don't you take us um take us down down these stairs? You talked about the staircase. You want to talk about the staircase a lot. When why don't we kind of go down um into the the lower levels of the build, if you will? And talk yeah, us so through this. the the main staircase is connecting um all the um public spaces and all the cultural spaces. So um, on three stories. Um, so downstairs there's a musical theater, on the ground floor there's the um, restaurant, the ticket office, 
cloak room, etc. And on the first floor, you then find um, the concert hall. So it's all connected through one large staircase, which is really cultural and design. But we'll see that later when we go up there. Definitely, definitely. And again, look at this. We came down the stairs, but um, you have this just like blown wide open, like, I don't know, you know, atrium almost down here. Like this downstairs area almost has its own, you know, welcome hall too. And you just, it, the light is just like flowing right down into the space and yeah. it doesn't feel closed off at all. I really like how it's bringing in a lot of light into the building, even though this is the basement level. Yeah, it is. It's like the basement level. Um, what is this? How how tall are the walls down here? Um, five blocks. Five blocks tall, and it's like, which is a very normal normal height for our builds, but it feels like it's way taller than that almost, right? Because yeah. it's just like yeah. super lit up and open and wide open space. Um, and it kind of leads into this this super bright, airy space where you're coming down here. Um, just turns into this um this theater right this um just kind of dark theater that's really just kind of holds you in and focuses your attention on the stage right yeah so the entire building is based on contrast so um we were just previously in the white and um open atrium and now we are in a really um intimate theater situation so here are the musicals with um really a twist here so it turns from white and open to um dark and more intimate dude and that that darkness was achieved this is some a bit of inspiration that you guys can actually only get using our um walk flows texture pack on the server yeah. is this um this really dark block this is our dark oak slabs double stacked mm -hmm. gives us this dark block and that's um only found on our resource pack correct yeah, it's a beautiful texture, and it's, it's custom made for the server. It is. It's custom made by Pick Me, and he, he yeah. did a phenomenal job. I really like this contrast of the black and the white because when you when you walk out of this theater, you're just hit by light of the white walls and the mm -hmm. sunlight pouring in. Oh yeah, and this is that's the sidewalk up there. We're like under the sidewalk yeah. right here, and again, you're you're right. Yeah. It's just like you've come out of the the bowels of whatever you know whatever production is going on down here and you're hyper focused on that and all of a sudden you're just reborn again like the allegory of the mm -hmm. cave out into the light right you know uh, it's, it's actually really cool um so you wanted to hit a little bit on what's happening back here this detail that you have going on is absolutely incredible dude thank you uh you have like an entire the the entire backstage area where you know people would be running along this catwalk and you know the lights would be changing and the curtains would be picking up and going yeah. down and sandbags would be falling on people's heads hopefully not but it'd be happening because it happens in the movies yeah. and like it's just this is madness this entire backstage area is just is incredible it's so realistic you can see the stage crew walking along this little place mm -hmm. up here and in hazmat the suits and Oh yeah, and their suits, <laughs> it's so funny. Again, you were called in because of coronavirus to sterilize the area. It's um, oh, yeah. <laughs> and again, dude, in the theme of seeing the behind the scenes of what's going on, you have this window so people can you know sit you know stand at these tables and congregate, but also see what's going on yeah. behind, the, behind the scenes. Yeah. And I think that's really cool. Um, you know, really cool feature that you've done here. These banners make it look very realistic. You can see the um, curtains kind of closing. Oh yeah, very. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the different layers of curtains that you have going on, so you can exit exit stage right and you just run over here like a like a crazy man, and you're you're off. This is really cool. Um, why don't we head up now? Let's go look at the rest of that staircase. Um, so we kind of the down part of the staircase that leads you leads you downstairs um let's go let's go up to the rest of it to go to the rest of the public spaces so as we're heading upstairs um we're taking the grand staircase again and if you look um up to the sky you see a huge skylight which um is an immersive amount of light this isn't just 
um, putting light into the staircase, but into all the concert rooms and offices as well, because it's all connected through glass. So you have a huge skylight up there. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely... Um, I mean, this would be walking into this, and then, like, there's even sun rays right now because of the shaders I'm using. This would be just absolutely awe-inspiring. You have these huge yeah. walls of glass on either side, and then just this this light pouring down them onto you. you you feel almost small but still like like the it's hugging you almost right it's pulling you deeper yeah. in you want to figure out what's happening in here um so it's again it's leading you up into these um again more contrast this wood here take this and then like take take this bit of inspiration look what you've done with this wood you've actually placed these stripped um blocks in different ways um, and created yeah. this checkerboard effect, so it's not just one, you know, one wall of the same facing block, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's I think that's really cool, and it, it contrasts, you know, with what's above it, and then with this black wall, and then you get the sunlight, and then again the white here, and you've done very well with that contrast. I love how you have the black and the white and the brown, and it's really just like a. You know, you have the two extremes, the black and the white, and then you have the medium with just the light brown. Yeah. I think uh, I think one thing that I would tell new builders who are coming onto the server and trying to get um, the builder is take, um, take risks. Don't be afraid to contrast sharply with something. Don't be afraid to um, do something different that you've never seen before. Um, and, like, you know put a massive skylight in your build uh, but make sure you know put these cross beams so it looks realistic but don't be afraid to do something like that and to take a risk like that you know what i'm saying so yes, it's always super important to just um do what you want and try new things so don't be afraid um of well of using the blocks just use the blocks yeah. do what you can with the blocks and, and experiment with world edits and all that stuff. Oh, there's so much you can do with um, with Minecraft and with world edit. And one of the things, again, we touched on it um, in our in our first like inspiration video, but one of the things you have access to is builders and world edit here and just this plethora of knowledge and um, just all these resources. So get on the server and one, check out this build, but use the um, use the resources we have. So let's kind of move yeah. on here. What uh, What's this area we're in? So this is the main concert hall now, um, the Philharmonic concert hall. So there's basically um, classical concerts in here. And as you can see, it's clattered in wood. So um, the wood is very important for the acoustics. It just would be in, in a real life building. So um, I try to have different shapes and different um, scenarios of wood and different holes and textures of wood to just get the perfect acoustics um, for his concert hall. Oh yeah, and this is really, um, I mean, you've really, you, you have captured it. So if you guys don't know about acoustics, um, wood is a very, it, it, it can be used very well in acoustics. And one of the mm -hmm. things that they do is um, varying depths of wood will capture sound and reflect it in different angles. So you're really hearing the most, the, the most like these speakers, you're getting the, the, the purest form of the sound that you can. You're not getting all of the ambient noise, which is reflected out of the way, right? Yeah. Um, and so also, um, when the future, uh, when the future, I would like to um, explain a little more. It's this large window in front. So the idea was to actually have the possibility to fold this entire glass window um, into simple panes and have like an open air um, concert hall onto the city. So um, there's a main square in front, and there can be people gathering around having like an open air concert from the concert hall right here. Oh, that's crazy! That is such a cool concept because it it is it is closed off, but again, like this is just front and center and just like intimate. And then right behind there could be people, like you said, just gathering around under this tree, the sense of like community, right? Yeah. Gathering around like they're on the outside, but they're they're not on the outside, right? Yeah, the, the entire idea of the building is to um, have the core building functions, like the concert halls, 
um, to have them engage with the streetscape and also to have the outdoors flow inside. So it's kind of like buildings in the neighborhood and trees and stuff to make really a difference on the interior as well. That is very cool. I really like how the nice big window just really shines some light on whoever might be performing up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is cool. I mean, look at that backdrop. Could you, I mean, it's so like, the, the you have the wood walls and the speakers everywhere and then it's almost like you're staring at just i don't even know like there's just a piano by itself in front of this mm-hmm. giant window with a tree and it's like it's like a painting up there and it's like you're watching like a musical painting yeah. that's and that's really that, that's yeah. really cool it frames that view so nicely yeah that was the intention yeah well you you did it very well um let's go on um to I guess um, that's that's kind of it for this level and really the the main public yeah. spaces, correct? Yeah, exactly. So let's go upstairs. You said there's a university portion of this build. Why don't you uh, kind of take us up there and tell us what that's all about? Yeah, so we're going to skip um, like one or two floors now. And let me see if you're on the right story now. Oh, um, no. Where do you go? Yeah. Where are you at? Where are you at, though? I'm, I'm here. Oh, Woo! Okay, yeah. I got lost in the elevator shaft. That's how big okay. this build is, guys. Um, you can get lost in the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> so this part of the building um, contains the Philharmonic Orchestra um, on this story. So there's administration and, um, again, wardrobe for the artist and some practice rooms. So I suggest we might take a look at that. Um, over here, we have a huge lounge area for the artist we're performing in the concert hall oh wow this is this is cool and they also have like a really nice terrace um to just go out into the city and once again perfectly framing the building it does actually really and this cutout is so it's very natural cutout in the building it's not just like you yeah like bam balcony like and you get a balcony and you get a balcony no it's like it's very nicely like and like elegantly cut out and it makes sense i guess that's that's a bit of inspiration to draw make things make sense in your build um Mm -hmm. and not necessarily they don't necessarily have to fully make sense to like anything outside the build but they really need to make sense in your build and it really needs to like tie your into your build somehow and you've done that well with this balcony it's not just hanging off the side of the building because you wanted the building to be an enclosed box and you did that you captured that with this balcony i really like this wall for some inspiration with the with the wood facing different ways when you could just have it go all the way up the same but you did that little just small little feature to mm-hmm. that is true and how did you uh how did you actually achieve that different um the different grain um direction um so the um horizontal planks are actually double flat so once again a feature from our um resource pack workflows um are those vertical planks so you just do a double slab of oak wood and it gives you like a vertical plank which is really cool there you go inspiration more inspiration um and more inspiration you can only get from the walk resource pack so you need to get over and yeah. get the resource pack if you don't already have it because you're behind the times currently let's go people get with it all right sorry i got i got a little bit hyper um <laughs> what are we so, so yeah take us down this hall i guess show us some more of uh the yeah. university here we have like more offices Ooh. and um, nice. just like really really many offices so you can see here why i previously mentioned it's 350 rooms in total and, and you, you decorated you know, all of them yeah they're oh, all furnished man. and they are all individually furnished do not get overwhelmed looking at this build if you are not a builder or a guest or even if you are a builder because i'm just a builder right now and I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Like, I'm never going to build like this. Do not get overwhelmed. You can definitely come on here and take inspiration from all this. What are these? You have, like, music yeah, stands in this room. Yeah. You have, like, the director in this room with some, like, a table and some cool chairs. Like, look, just come on here and look at these things that you can incorporate into your own build. Yeah. I love this music stand right here. I mean, it looks so realistic, especially in the game of Minecraft. Like, you can imagine... 
Just like sitting here with your little music stand practicing. Oh yeah, for sure. Like a men's choir. La 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 la. And a man in a hazmat suit singing as well. <laughs> Only on World of Corrales are you going to get a man in a hazmat suit, a bear, That's and an undefined block man yeah, named Silp singing block. together. <laughs> yeah, white block. I never know which way you're looking. So, like, when I'm interviewing you and you're, like, talking about something, I'm like, oh, yeah. And I'm, like, looking the wrong way. And you're like, and over here. And I'm like, oh, crap. I'm like, turn yeah, it's, around. <laughs> it's quite confusing. Yeah. <laughs> it is very confusing. Like, why is, he, why is he pointing his butt at me? Um, so, anyway. I really like these doors with the. Uh with what looks like the trap doors and the uh-huh oh yeah blanks. it's framed like super nicely it looks so good it does look yeah, so good it's all custom designed especially for this building more inspiration look at dude look at this like what is this a dressing room yeah those are the dressing rooms and wardrobe for the uh, performing artists of the concert hall dude spout look at us remember what we're talking about with the mirrors we're like we love different mirror designs, and this is one that oh, I actually yeah. I don't I don't know if I've seen it done like this either. Just um, two glass panes, world edited, so they're full glass panes, just um, by mm. themselves stacked. That's really cool. Yeah, I really like how with world edit you can make it so it doesn't connect to the block behind it. And oh it yeah, look really realistic. Yeah. yeah. And if you guys have questions, again, guests have, you guys can get a guest plot in World of Corrales, and you have access to World Edit, and then if you have a question about how to do something like this, just ask somebody, and we'll throw up the command, um, like, super fast, and then all of a sudden yeah. you're building like this. So, let's go down the hall. Um, is there anything else on this floor that you really want to highlight? Um, I think we can go one floor further. Um, here's another staircase. So Holy let's, cow. let's take this one. All right, going up this back staircase. Oh, there's more staircases. Here. I'm tired. My guy is tired. Yeah, there, there's, there's three staircases in the entire <laughs> building. So. This would right. be a good workout in real life. This would be a phenomenal workout in real life. Yeah. So over here we have the main classrooms of the music university, which I previously mentioned, and they all also individually furnished so here's like one classroom for example there's like three sizes okay so yeah they're in the classroom they're learning music you got a projector up here look at this a little bit of inspiration uh projector hanging from the ceiling pointing at this um again this use of glass i guess just different colored glass as a as like a projector screen or a whiteboard that's pretty cool mm -hmm. i really like the with the glass how thin it is and it makes it look like a real realistic um, projector it really does and like one thing people right. did in the past with like tvs is they'd have like full blocks or whatever and this this definitely makes it look like again like you said realistic and modern um should we kind of head down the hall i heard that there is a lecture hall somewhere in here yeah so um actually Which there's one? just more classrooms in, over here so um we can see that quickly okay and once again we have like a great view over here and this is the skylight i previously mentioned over the ground staircase oh we are continues ab into a courtyard over here we're above the skylight yeah i really like this little lounge area yeah it is really Very, cool uh, realistic looks like you can get your little coffee over here kind of freshen up kind of lounge yeah. here discuss like the class and then like run back in before the teacher gets mad because you're late you know what i mean yeah yeah this is very cool i can definitely see myself like i <laughs> it is funny because like i see myself in college but like in this building like college me like doing these things and you did very well to capture like the vibe you know what i mean yeah thank you so yeah take us take us a little bit further into the build i'm glad you're here because if it was just spout and i Half this video would be us just like running around the build trying to like you have signs and the signs are beautiful But yeah. I don't read signs. Um, so I'd just be running around the build confused <laughs> Like, Yeah, we'd be lost already somewhere we'd be lost. In the basement. <laughs> It'd be like a three hour long video of us finding awesome things and then like not knowing where we are <laughs> it's, it's such a big build 350 rooms, man. That's crazy. Yeah so um, here we're actually in the main area of the university now um, because we recently entered through a side staircase. So this is the main area of the university with just 
little classrooms, meeting rooms, and study rooms here. I like these study rooms where you can kind of have your group come in and do your little work and go back yeah. to class. It's very realistic. It is very realistic. It's very collegiate, too, to have, like, you know, glass front, like, glass um, study mm -hmm. rooms almost. You know what I mean? And then you have these, what are these, lockers over here? Yeah, those are all lockers, yeah. Very cool. Oh, Take some inspiration. inspiration right yep. There. Some locker design. Um, and again, it doesn't. So with Minecraft, it's nothing's gonna be like look exactly like you wanted to in real life. But you look at these, and you can really be like, oh, dude, those are like really cool lockers. That you know what I'm saying? So like, that's use the blocks, like he said. He used different texture um, wool mm -hmm. here, and wool's not something you would normally think about. But it here you see locker, and it's like, oh, that's metal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just works. <laughs> it does. It really works. Just use yeah. the different blocks. Don't don't look at the. Somebody said it yesterday when we were on the server. Don't look at the block name. Look at the block itself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Don't get hung up on what it's called. Um. So why don't we? Um. Ooh, this is a really cool mi microphone in there. Look at this. La 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 la. Oh yeah, yeah. Do I look like I'm singing? I do look oh, like I'm wow. singing. That, that, is really cool. that, that actually looks really weird from that view. We won't discuss that. All right. Let's um. Let's, you guys will see it in the finished video. All right, take us further in. What is the, um, the top floor, I'd say? Oh, with this crazy skylight just lighting up the staircase. Yeah, once again. Staircases can get really dark in Minecraft, so lighting it up is a very good idea, and a skylight is a perfect way to do that. I really like these uh, hanging signs that you have on this, just pointing you in the direction yeah. to go. Oh, yeah, it's like super realistic, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, as it's a huge building, people get lost quickly, so I thought it, it would be a good idea to give at least some orientation. Ooh, Spout, I think he's talking crap on us. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. That's right, because there's two of us and one of you. All right, all right, all right. That was aggressive. Yeah, saying we should be smart enough to find our way, but Ooh. I don't know. But we are not. Um, you should have seen us last time we tried to do that. All right, um, where are we now? What is this? What is this floor? What's going on? So this is also part of the university, and up here it actually has a slanted roof. You don't see it from the exterior, but um, it's a slanted roof, so you have space for lecture hall with a double height ceiling, and oh. those are situated quite here um, next to the terrace, and you can see how the roof slants up, and you have a double height room. Oh, yeah. that's cool. But it maintains its boxy, like, boxy appearance in the end. Yeah. This is really nice. I like how this slants, because in real life, in these type of rooms, they would slant as well. They would slant yeah. as well. And then again, you have this whole theme of, uh, I, th I think I've kind of noticed, like, things are backlit here, right? Behind whatever's happening, um, this would be terrible for mm -hmm. my ADD, but behind what's happening is this beautiful, like, just framed outdoor, you know what I mean, like, space. Um, and that's kind yeah. of, you have this going on, you know, throughout this entire build, and I really, I really enjoy that. Yeah, if I was sitting here in this classroom, I probably would not be paying attention to the professor, I'd be... Looking across the hall at all the people in the library. And yeah, so so if I would fail out yeah. of your school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I clicked. Did I destroy something? No. All right, quick run. All right. Uh, I let let's run. Let's run. <laughs> ah, I'm lost. All right. What what is next? What is next? What is next? So um, what's next? And it's just up a bit of the um huge courtyard is the library. Oh wow. Oh wow. I did not see this either when I was touring the build. So you have like yeah, the front like desk. The reception area. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is I so really cool. like this reception area. You know, you can see yourself checking out books or returning them or asking questions. Oh yeah, definitely. This is this is madness right here. What is this? Electronic rental? Yeah, looks For, like it's closed. Electric uh, rental yeah. electronic rental is closed. For Coronavirus the quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's take a look at this uh this this library full of just musical theory. I'm assuming and all these books that I would yeah. not understand. Tons Where's, and tons of books. Tons and tons of books. Oh, they're even labeled. Holy cow! They are they are labeled. Yeah, yeah. 
classic music notes G through M so Miley Cyrus classical right there that orange book then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna I sit like down this, I like this tiny detail of the bookshelf floating above the what is that snow block oh wow yeah yeah, it's a snowblock. Snowblock's very good to get that detail. Snowblock's awesome because you you can make it however however tall or short you want, and mm -hmm. you can you can put these lines in your builds elsewhere. Take that as inspiration, guys. Use snowblock or don't use it yourself. Come on the server first. Step one. Step two. Use the snowblocks. Step three. Be awesome like silk. So, um, all of these are are labeled. Let's. Is this this is how did you did you have like this area left over and you decided to put a library in or did you kind of um, envision this up here all along? No, it, it was planned from the beginning to have the university at the very top and the public functions um, on the lower floor. And so it was my original intention to have the um, lecture halls and the library on the very top because those are like the most public areas of the university and the coolest areas and the areas where you spend the most time i like that that is very cool so um so, there you have it there is the library what's up spout these are things you have to think of as a builder you know all these small details like including a library and a lecture room making sure there's restrooms offices restrooms i always forget to put a spot for when i build a house i always forget to put a spot for a restroom whenever i build a building i'm like oh crap then i have to like slam a restroom in and like people are peeing underneath the staircase all of a sudden you know what i mean so like definitely like pre-plan your builds before you like start just going at it it's always good to yeah. plan it before you get too far into the process Exactly, exactly. Actually, uh, actually, a fun fact um, of this building, there's um, over 70 toilet seats in this building. There's over 70 I toilet seats. Toilets as well. <laughs> you counted the toilets. That is... uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've actually built 70 toilets on Minecraft Ever. total. Yeah, yeah like yeah. my total toilet build. I mean, I use well that it to copy down, but yeah. Yeah, world edited toilets and it's yeah. that's crazy. Um, so I guess I guess there you have it. Is there anything else you really um you want to hit up on the inside silk? Um, not really. I just want to encourage everyone to come on the server and just look at this building and look at all the other buildings in this beautiful city and on our server and just to take a look um at all of the stuff by yourself because we can't show it all in our videos. So really take the opportunity, come online and check out Soul. Yeah, definitely. Like exactly like you said, because again, we couldn't show you everything in this. So we're gonna link the um, position in here, um, and you guys can come on the server and you can go to like this exact the coordinates for this exact place. Um, what warp is this? I don't think we covered this. Isn't this um, what is this Columbus? Columbus. Yeah. yeah, it's Columbus. Yeah. And who owns Columbus? I'm um, Dan. Dan. 999 Dan. 999 Dan. He's a very um very good one of the better traditional builders um yeah on the on the server actually. Um and yeah. definitely come on check it out. I mean there's so many stuff we miss like these little bike racks out front. The little <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's hundreds of rooms that we didn't see in the building. <laughs> They're literally sure to come on and check it out. Literally hundreds of rooms in this thing that we did not see. Um, and then, like, look, look at across from this. There's a nice contrast. Look at just look at the, all these buildings out here. There's you know skyscrapers. We have we have everything on World of Corrales. And again, like we said at the beginning, um, WalkTube is going to be blowing up. We're going to be doing these all the time. Um, World of Corrales is going to be expanding. We have we don't just have a creative server. We have a townie server that's super active they actually yeah. have a, had a tournament just just going on and we're going to be doing videos of that where we where we make it like a sports broadcast so stay tuned for that um just get on here if you're not already on here that's really all we can all we can say at this point 
Yeah, yeah you're, you're missing out at this point if you haven't been on the server yet. You are definitely sure. missing out. Um, so I guess I guess with that, guys, we will um, we'll say goodbye. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet to WalkTube, subscribe. Hit that bell so you guys get the notifications when we drop a new video and you can be part of this. Subscribe to um, Spout's YouTube. Hit his little bell. Dingle his bell um, so you get his notifications and subscribe to mine. Um, all of these links are going to be in the subscription. Um, the video is going to be up on all of those. Um, let us know what you think, and thanks for watching.